Hello and welcome to the channel. I am that Evernote guy providing you actionable content that you yourself can use to make your Evernote better and better. This week we are looking at the Archiver. I've mentioned the Archiver a few times in my videos but haven't really touched on what it does. I think you're really going to like it. You may have guessed from its name that it automatically archives all your notes whether they be tasks or anything else and puts them in the right place for you. So it's one of the busiest bots and does one of the best jobs in my opinion. So without further ado, I'm going to chuck myself right down there and we're going to get straight into this right now. So here we are in my Evernote. This is not my demo account. This is my real life personal Evernote account. So I've had to be careful with what I put in here to show you this demonstration. I'm going to show you the done folder, which has moved me over there show you the done folder there which has got 12 items in so we're going to click into the done folder and what that's what we're going to do is push everything through the archiver and then see what happens automatically so let's click on done i've got a bunch of different personal work and um, demo tasks in here and we're going to move these all through to the archiver this is a good example of my real life use case i'm busy all week do a whole bunch of tasks and then at some point I will chuck them all into the archiver. So I'm going to select them all here and I'm going to use the move button down here but you can of course use Alt Shift M which is popular and select number 10 the archiver. So when I before I hit enter and we watch all this happen let me just step through what is going to happen. Obviously they're all going to get moved to the archiver that will trigger the archive bot that I've built to go and have a look, see what's going on, and see what instructions it needs to run on all those individual notes. And it will have a look, and based on their tags, it will put them into the right archive folders. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna move all of those. Off they go. As you can see, they're moving one by one. And when that's done, we're gonna go straight into Archiver. Okay. Here they are, they're all in the archiver. Now I'm gonna to go to the main notes section because they're all gonna disappear out of here in a second as, this, as stuff starts to happen to them. So let's look at main notes and then we can keep track of them live. So here are all my notes here. So you will start to see a couple of things happen to them. First of all, I want to indicate that they're archived tasks or notes by replacing the green tick with a padlock emoji and that happens automatically of course as everything does it's the whole point of my system using bots to run your Evernote then they will slowly get moved to their appropriate archive spots wow I think it all just happened in one hit there I was expecting that to uh, gradually change one by one whilst I was uh, talking through it there but it all got done in one foul hit so we can see I've got different archive notebooks here I've got one called personal I've got one called work non-specific and I've got one there which is a customer name and that's where everything's gone. So just to explain my system, I have default notebooks that stuff goes into. If I tag it as personal, it's going in my personal notebook. If I tag it as work, it's going in my work notebook or work non-specific. However, if it's a specific project or it's a specific client, then it will automatically get tagged and I will cover this in another video. It will automatically get tagged with the client or the project name and then the archiver is able to file it under that specific client or project. So it puts everything just where you want it, makes it really easy to find in future and it just keeps it in a, in a nice, neat, logical system. Of course, you can do this manually. You, everything we've seen in my system, you can do manually, but who would want to do all that manually? Could you imagine copy pasting all those lock icons, lock emojis there at the start of the note? Could you imagine individually filtering each note or each task and drag dropping it into the appropriate folder? It just doesn't really get done, doesn't really happen like that. But having the structure is great and is very useful. Having a robot to automatically put it there for you is even better. So that's probably about it for this video. This is a demonstration. In the next video, we're actually going to build this. So I'm going to close the video out now. So what have we seen there? We've seen more automations. As you step through this series with me, you'll see layer and layer of automation 
on top of each other to make a super neat, super efficient system. And it's, I've covered it before in one of my videos, the whole point of the system is having all these little things contribute to each other and building something that's really effective. So in our next video, we will build that live. We will build all the instructions for archive bot and we'll set that up and we'll have that operational. Just wanted to show you that first though, because I think it makes a nice demonstration seeing everything uh, shoot off into its various directions. That's it for now. As ever, all my useful links and Evernote resources are in my ruler note, which is down below in the description. And if you've got any comments on what you think of ArchiveBot, if you think you would use it in your system, please let me know in, in the comments down below. But until then, I shall say goodbye and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Cheers.